She's leading the campaign from the front for the DMK. Joining us is Kanimori Karnadi, ma'am, who's also the DMK candidate for Tutukudi. Let me begin by asking you about Tutukudi. Huge response for you. You've been busy campaigning from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, people are just happy with the way you've handled floods. So how easy is it for you this time? Because you've done a lot of work for the constituency. Oh, you can never say an election is easy. Uh, I mean, it's uh, ha I mean, nice to see people welcoming you, but uh, I don't think uh, it's right to get overconfident. Uh, uh, but I hope uh, that uh, you know uh, I will be able to win with a good margin. Uh, talking about floods, what are the promises that you are telling the people of Tutukudi when you're campaigning? Because floods has been an issue, you've been monitoring it, but there are issues that people are uh, coming forward and telling you during your campaign. What are your promises to the voters? See, uh, climate change is something which is there for real and uh, we've been seeing that because of uh, fires, droughts and uh, floods all over the world. Uh, and uh, Tutukuri has seen uh, unprecedented uh, rains. Uh, I don't think uh, we've had rains like this and floods like this even for uh, over 100 years. Uh, I think we have to, you know, start. I haven't been uh, making this into a poll promise, but uh, we have been discussing about, uh, you know, doing a counter uh, mapping of the area and then uh, to find out. Uh, you know what are the ways water can flow, and uh, ensure that you know because we had a lot of issues draining the water out, pumping it out. So we don't want that to become a problem in the future. Also, we want to uh, you know work on that, and of course deepen the ponds and the lakes uh, so that uh, their holding capacity also will be improved. Uh, talking about uh, Tamil Nadu this time, uh, what is your assessment? You've been talking to people. Uh, last time it was 38 out of 39. This time what is your assessment of the DMK's performance? Actually, you should be telling me. I'm sure you've been travelling much more than uh, that and talking to more people. But I, I, what from what I've seen and what, because I've been campaigning in other districts also, I think uh, we are doing very well and uh, it could be a 40-40, that is a 39 plus uh, Pondi. Do you see a tri cornered contest in Tamil Nadu or is it going to be a battle between the DMK and the ADMK as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned? As far as we all know, I think it's always been a contest uh, for many years between the DMK and the AI ADMK. I don't think anything has changed. I mean, always there have been other parties. Uh, you've got, um, you know, uh, Seaman's, uh, yeah, Mr. Seaman's party and so many other parties. Of course, BJP's alliance is also there, but I don't think uh, that makes it a three-cornered uh, fight. Prime Minister is frequently visiting Tamil Nadu and BJP is betting big on Tamil Nadu trying to make inroads. Do you think the BJP can make inroads now or in the near future? I don't think so because uh, uh, people are very clear and they're very angry because the Prime, my Prime Minister never turned up during the floods or uh, when there was a disaster. But then uh, he's here only for the elections and uh, they haven't given us, you know, one rupee um, for uh, flood relief. And when you come and campaign after that, people are not very happy about it. Uh, what and we also know how the finance minister responded to uh, the CM's request uh, for the, you know, relief funds. Uh, talking about uh, uh, you know the floods and relief funds what are the in, in your manifesto you were heading the manifesto team a lot of promises but all of them related to policies related to the central government that have impacted Tamil Nadu do you think issues like NEET CAA all those will have an impact in the coming elections definitely uh, see this is not an election for the assembly uh, this is an election for uh, a change of government in the union uh, Level. So obviously it has to be a national uh, level manifesto and I am very confident that uh, DMK also will be playing an important role uh, in the union government. So we have to make our promises about policies, about uh, you know uh, uh, national issues and I think uh, yes people are interested in these issues. People are interested in even, uh, you know, national security issues. Prime Minister and the BJP leaders are now talking about Kachitiva, saying that it's because of the Congress and the DMK then that Kachitiva was given away. 
your response to that and do you think it's going to backfire for the bjp more because of the the kind of uh, reactions that we are hearing from the fishermen community no definitely because uh, the prime minister has been in office for more than 10 years uh, and uh, he has not uh, responded to all the questions we've raised about uh, kach people nor have they brought it up nor have they brought it up with the sri lankan government just before elections they talking about gachatheva you know i like suddenly they've discovered uh, you know that gachatheva was given away and uh, i think and everybody knows people here i don't think uh, they're going to buy that he cares about it but they know for sure that it's only to divert uh, you know attention from what is happening uh, in the india china border and how much land we're losing the other narrative uh, by the okay, bjp is that dmk is anti hindu india block alliance most of them are anti hindu your response to uh, that and your counter to that see we, we've never been uh, anti hindu because the uh, hindu endowment board has been with the uh, you know dmk government from uh, justice party days and uh, it is a government's responsibility to you know up uh, keep the temples which come under the board and uh, i think even uh, after dmk has come to uh, power this time uh, they have uh, renovated and that uh, kumbh abhishekam and more than 1330 temples and even the village temples have been preserved and uh, the government has allotted around 130 crores for it and uh, most of the schemes are for the majority hindus uh, because it is a ma- hindu majority country and state so most of the schemes benefit majority hindus. and reservation is uh, you know uh, nearly 90% for the majority hindus and dmk and the dravidian movement has been fighting for that so who is actually uh, you know against the hindus are actually it's the bjp who is against the hindus because they are not doing anything for them nor uh, and they oppose reservation they don't want to have a caste census prime minister in his campaign is only talking about uh, dmk being a dynast party and also calls the dmk a corrupt party uh, your response to that the prime minister who has legalized corruption by bringing a you know bill uh, which the supreme court has called as unconstitutional and uh, the uh, bill is the electoral bonds and we know how much money they have collected and how they have collected it and after that i don't think uh, the bjp has any local standing to talk about anybody's corruption and uh, funnily it's always on uh, people who are in the opposition party who are corrupt the minute they step uh, or cross over and they join the bjp or align with the bjp they become clean uh, because they have been put through the bjp washing machine DMK is betting big on India Block's performance this time. Uh, do you think we still have uh, a chance to see India Block do better? Because there are certain parties that initially were part of it and eventually decided to contest alone. But do you see a post-poll alliance where all parties come together? Uh, yes, when the we... ideology is together, I think they will uh, come together. Sometimes uh, there are issues when with the share seat sharing and things like that, and people go their own way. definitely everybody will come together you know people who care about the country will come together after the elections